Hello, it's your girl, Health Coach Tamala, the Juice Magician, coming to you with day 28 of our 30 day Fall into Fitness Challenge. It is day 28, two more days left. Tomorrow is Full Body Day. Friday is the last rest juice day, and we will be finished. Saturday is going to, just going to be a extra bonus day. So what, what am I going to do on Saturday? I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to do something because we have one more day of the month. So it wasn't a 31 day challenge, a 30 day challenge, but I'm going to do something for that last day just to seal the deal and walk into November, new, fresh, and revitalized. So today is legs and abs. We're going to do six ab moves, three leg moves, and we're going to be done. The final leg and ab move of this 30 day challenge. Can y'all believe it? I cannot believe it. Am I excited about it? I'm very excited about it. So without further ado, let's get started. I have my workout party. Y'all know him by now with me today. <laughs> King Daddy with me today. So we're going to get it in. Ready? Let's get it. Sip of water, keep your water, stay hydrated. The first move, yeah, I know I like my in and out. So I always start with my in and out. And we're gonna throw some new moves on you today. So I always start with my in and out. So the first move, in and out. Hands can, hands can be down on your mat, or if you wanna challenge yourself, they can be up in the air, it doesn't matter. 25. Ready? Let's go. Fifteen. Twenty. Five. It don't take long to warm up. It was cold at the garage, but it don't take but one good move to get to warm up. So that means don't make no excuses because it's getting cold. As soon as you get your body moving, you warm up, you'll be all right. So the next move, this is something new. Something, uh, well, move I haven't done in a while. It's called the double banana crunch. So basically, you're starting out in a crunch. Legs at 90 degrees, the tabletop, your, uh, it's hard to see. You start in a crunch where your legs are up. I'm gonna turn my mat to the side. Just gotta make the adjustments. Just make the adjustments. Just because I haven't done it before and I want y'all to be able to see. Good job. Never made a tea. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> so the double banana crunch. You're starting out your legs and tabletop, your arms are behind your head, so you're starting out in the crunch. And then you're just going out and bring it back to the crunch. So it's like two moves, all right? It's like I need to adjust. Am I in your work? Yes, sure. Oh. Uh -huh. All right. <clears throat> so, double banana crunch. Starting out with your legs, knees, and tabletop, your uh, your lower back should not lift, leave the ground. Just your shoulders up like you're doing a crunch, and you're going out and in. Ready? Let's go. Good job. That was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The next one is also a new move, and it's called the in, up, open. In, up, open. So basically, you start with your legs straight, 
the in part is in, the up part is up, the open part is open, close, in, up, open. All right, you got it? You got it? I think I do. You think you do? All right. Your head should be off the ground. And when you have your head like lifted, you're causing your core to have to work harder. So that's the point of having like your neck off the ground. But if your neck is hurting or if you have neck issues, then put your neck down. Like don't make it hurt. It shouldn't hurt. It should just be rewarding, not a punishment. All right. So if your neck is hurting and it's sore, just put it down. All right. Let's go. A lot going on with this move. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Yes. So a lot going on with this move, huh? So you really go like at least three moves in one. <laughs> so every move is like three moves. All right. That's 15. Come on, T. Do this last 10. Let's go. Yes. 
because you got to really stabilize in your core in order to keep your body balanced. So that is a good one. So what you do on one side, you got to do on the other side. All right. Left arm up, right leg up. 25. Then you can do it however you want. You can do them in, drive your feet in, 
or you can do them to the side, east, your knees to your elbow, which works your oblique. So you can mix it up. I don't mix it up. All right. Plank position and just kind of running up. You ready? Let's go. also good to make sure that you're sitting back on your butt. Right. Sitting back. That's why your form is important. Your shoulders should be rolled back and your chest should be lifted. So you're not leaning over, giving in to the weight. You're holding the weight. And you're That's what you're the to, to do, do the lifting. Lift. And squeeze your butt at the top. Squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze, please. Alright. Ten more. Second set. So you should get your form together first and foremost. Your chest is lifted. Your shoulders are rolled back. So you're not leaning in, giving in to your weight. You're holding the weight and managing it, which is using your legs and your core. All right? Grab your weight. See, my chest is up. I'm not hovering over. Even though I'm bent over, I got to bend over to do it, but your chest is up. You ready? Let's go. Two more leg moves, and we out of here. All 
Use your breath. Your breath will help you with the move. So don't hold your breath. Make sure you're breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. All right. Move this out the way. Second move is the skater's lunge. Skater's lunge. Basically, you side to side. If you want to jump and do the plyo part and leave, leave the ground, you can, but if not, you can just. So, you gauge what's best for you. You can leave the ground, but it's still doing an effective move by just actually leaning, lunging into the move. So, it's also acceptable. All right? We're going to do three sets of 10. Well, really 20, 10 on each side. You ready? I, this is one of those moves I got like for my range of motion. All right. Back to the 15, you're like, okay, <laughs> who's watching? <laughs> who's watching? All right, take a few seconds. Plyo is good because it gets your heart rate up. So you like incorporating cardio in your move. So. Cardio is just anytime you get your heart rate up. It don't have to be a traditional treadmill or whatever you use for cardio. If your heart rate is up, it's cardio. Cardio meaning cardiovascular, meaning your heart. Let me get my. All Then we're gonna just do traditional squats. I'm gonna wrap this thing up. Wrap it up. All right. Ten, right, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
every day. Just wanna... All right, one more move. You're gonna do squats. You can do them weighted. You can do them unweighted. Uh, however you wanna do it. You gonna use your band? Yes. Got the thigh bands. And just add an extra layer of resistance. Grippy. Very grippy. Just traditional squats. Your legs are about hip width apart. And make sure you squat. You squatting, your butt is going down. I was going to use the weight, but no, nah, I think I'm just going to squat. So do however you want. I feel like I earned a non squatted weight. All right. Feet are facing forward. Shoulders are rolled back. Chest is up. Abs are engaged. And just squatting back. Three sets of 10. You ready? Let's go. Ooh. Good job. Good job. Whew. Now, what I'm gonna do is a little stretch, a little cool down, then we're done. It is your girl, health coach Tamala, the Juice Magician, on the last two days of our third or last three days, we got two, uh, two more days of our 30 day fall into fitness challenge. I'm here with my partner. King Daddy, my husband, my king, Mr. Funches. We did it, abs and legs. Tomorrow is full body day. 
Then Friday is your rest Tuesday. Then you're done. 30 days checked off the list in the books. You'll find me on Instagram and Facebook at Revitalize Juice and More. And as always, drink, eat, and be well. Peace. Peace.